Pickleball is now considered the fastest growing sport in the U.S. with about 5 million participants across the country. That's according to the Sports and Fitness Industry Association. And now with its increasing popularity, doctors are seeing a rise in pickleball related injuries as more people pick up the paddle. A new sport obsession is taking over. What you're finding is that you're finding people who love this game so much because of the camaraderie and the exercise. The popularity of pickleball is quickly on the rise. You're looking at, you know, 1,500, 2,000 players on the four major islands. More participation also means an increase in injuries. In general, in the past few recent years, um, with the rise in pickle interest, public interest in pickleball, I've seen a sharp increase in associated pickleball injuries. I would say it's a pretty stark increase. I would say on average, at least 20 to 30 patients a week, kind of thing. Um, in general, um, combine both new patient and follow-up patients. Kauai resident Jack Hodges, who oversees pickleball activities across the state, knows about these injuries firsthand. I've injured my knee uh, on more than one occasion, uh, a torn meniscus. I've injured my right hip uh, playing pickleball on both wrists. <laughs> you know, I've had a couple of hamstring, you know, uh, pulls as well. But this doesn't stop the 75-year-old from doing what he loves. We we're playing at age 70, 75, 60, 65, and we think we're 30. So we, you know, we that ball that should we should just wave as it goes by, thinking it's a winner, we go after. While it's true older folks are more prone to injuries than younger people are, all pickleball players face some type of risk. And you can take it from me, I was playing pickleball for the very first time three and a half weeks ago, and I completely tore my Achilles, had to have surgery, and now I'll be rehabbing for the next three and a half months. The most common injuries are by far lower extremity injuries, so injuries below the hips, um, accounting for about a third of new related pickleball related injuries. Uh, majority of them are either tendon rupture injuries of the Achilles tendon or ankle sprain injuries, and as well as uh, bone breaks or fractures of the ankle. So how can you prevent getting yourself into a pickle playing pickleball? The conditioning aspect is super important. So um, being limber, being flexible, you can do yoga on the side or you can do your own stretch program to stay very flexible in your lower extremity, your legs, your hamstrings, your adductors, the inside muscles in your leg, your quads, around the hip area, low back injuries happen a lot too in pickleball. So it's very important to do like cobra style exercises and side bending. Strength and balance exercises are also important. And lastly, don't forget to wear proper footwear. So this is the shoe that I was wearing when I injured myself on the pickleball court. About an eight-year-old running shoe with pretty much no traction anymore, which I'm told could have been part of the problem. And now I'm in this boot. And while the 40-minute taste of pickleball that I got was very fun, I'm not too sure if you're going to be seeing me out on the court anytime soon. But of course, only time will tell. You might see me around, though, on the scooter. And now you know why. And I've been using that scooter around the newsroom. Yeah. It's very fast and it's very helpful. You're such a trooper. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was out for two weeks, so yeah, I'm happy you, to be back. Poor thing. Ready. Who would have thought, right? <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, all of you who play yeah. pickleball. Good information there. <laughs>